it. <laughs> um. Wow. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing real good. I just so happen to not be in my room because I'm so tired of it and need to leave it. Some of you may or may not remember that last summer I worked with the YouTube reality series at Summer Break and AT&T as the behind the scenes correspondent bringing you all of the juicy details on all of the fun things. Anyway, AT&T wanted me to let you guys know that there is a season 3 and it has been airing all summer long with even more drama, more gossip, more boys, and more girls. I have just been to watch every episode and if you guys would like to do the same, there will be a link in the description of this video as well as on the screen. So to keep us in the summer mood and also get me out of my bedroom, I thought it would be a joyous time for the two of us to research a fun summer treat and then bake it like a pale human in the sun. Ow! I hit the ceiling! That has never happened before! Okay, let's find us a summer recipe. I'm seeing a lot of barbecue, not really in the mood. Oh, this is all food. I want, like, something cute. Okay, a berry cake. That looks good. Nope. Way too many ingredients. Strawberry shortcake. Okay. Why isn't it loading? Okay, this is all very doable. Print. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, out of all of the things, let's make ourselves a strawberry shortcake. So for starters, I'm going to go to my laptop and refine the recipe because somehow on the way back from the grocery store, I lost the piece of paper. Scrumptious strawberry shortcake. You're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Did it! What is... Anyway, hey guys. This is the closest thing I have to a large mixing bowl, so let's mix our hearts out. Why do I keep dropping everything? First things first, we're adding in flour. Flour is puffing everywhere. Please leave me alone. Ah! Okay, we need three cups total. That's so much flour. So the measuring container I did find was a third of a cup, so we're gonna be adding in nine. I am a mess. One, two, three, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They should have just said half the package. Next, we're adding in a quarter cup sugar. So the only measuring cup we have is a third of a cup, so we're gonna be adding in just a teeny bit not full of this. Okay, done. Next, we need cream of tartar. What is cream of tartar? No earthly idea. It's oddly enough reminds me of horseradish. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna mix this up really gently. Cut in butter with pastry blender or two knives. Oh, I have butter. Frick me. We need a cup of butter. This is only a half. This is so much. So we are going to be using two bowls. So let's just get some of this in here. Uh, I don't have enough, but this is so much. This is such a fat chunk of butter. How can it not be enough? We're just gonna make this recipe with half the amount of butter and see what happens. I should double wash my hands. Ah. Uh, okay. You know what? We're just gonna mush the. Oh. No, that was a poor decision. It is not melted enough for this. This is actually kind of soothing for my hands. Is that weird? Yes. I tried washing them. My hands are still covered in butter. You're going rogue. Okay, so as you'll see in this bowl, we have the butter nice and cut. And then this bowl, it's, it's a little bit of a different story. It's a little rougher. This is turning out a lot less fun than previously anticipated. I'm kind of bored and covered in various baking products. Next, we're going to be adding in the single egg. Let's see if I can, oh, oh, one-handed, like a champ. How do you know when an egg is beaten? When it forfeits. Add in a little egg to this bowl, a little egg to that bowl. That was so uneven. Now I'm going to be adding in the heavy whipping cream. Open, please. It's just a cardboard flop. Also my nickname. Oh, it's doing it. We did it. Smells funky. And add one cup into this bowl. Cover cup into that bowl. And knead. So this is supposed to be bread-like. Okay, maybe that can work to my advantage. Wait, was I supposed to add in baking powder at some point? Now I'm going to lightly flour my kitchen counter and knead this dough. So I'm gonna go like this and just try and knead this dough. Oh, there's still chunks of butter that does not seem right at all. You know what, I'm going with one sheet. So we'll just put a little oil. That's probably too much. Okay, did I do it? Um, I feel like this is supposed to be thinner. That's what society says. I'm supposed to cut it into squares, but I did my best. I'm gonna stick it in the oven and hope for the best. That sounds so like I'm making a baby. Do good. So now it is finally 
finally time to taste the strawberry shortcake and it looks like a piece of cardboard. So I don't have whipped cream. I probably should have purchased whipped cream. So we'll just, okay, it tastes like a cracker, but I like crackers. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to add in a little bit of sugar. That is definitely an improvement. You know what? All around, this is not bad. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to go, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 28,000 likes because of the absolute mess my kitchen is now in. Leave a comment and let me know what is your favorite summer snack. Hopefully, it is better than this one. Also, I've been uploading videos on a little bit different days. How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Do you want the normal Sunday video? Let me know by leaving a comment because whatever you want, I shall do. So good. I will see you guys soon with a brand new video and have a great day. I'm ready to be repainted. I'm ready to be repainted.